Hello and welcome to season two, round two of WHS Chopped. I'm Gary Jones. Let's meet our judges. Today I'm joined by Mr. Thompson, Ms. Wick, and Ms. Ward. Uh, let's meet our let's meet our contestants. Um, team one, we have Keaton, Mason, Cade, and Austin. Team two, we have Zach. Rylan and Ezai. Um, team three, we have Michaela, Jacqueline, Ava, and Aubrey. And finally, team four is Santi, Adrian, Gavin, and Drake. Um, today, you will have four mystery ingredients that you will be required to use in your dish. Um, anything else in the kitchen is free game. And without further ado, let's have you head on over to your cooking stations. For this round, your four, your four secret ingredients are walnut, balsamic vinegar, and peaches. You will have 30 minutes. Yep, you will have 30 minutes to um, cook your dishes, and um, we will start in three, two, one. Okay, so yes. <laughs> ask this question last time. You have the same basket. You're one of these young chefs. What are you making? I would be looking at a salad, something light and airy. Um, obviously, we talked about caramelizing mm -hmm. peach and you know, making sure that you can make, bring out those great fresh flavors. But it's fun watching them think through what they're wanting to do because you can see the collaboration, but you can feel the nerves today. Mm -hmm. This is interesting because last season it was groups of two. Mm -hmm. This season, obviously, we've grown the field to where it's groups of four, and I wonder, will that be a hindrance because it's yeah. too many cooks in the kitchen? Yes. Or is it going to be an advantage because now you can break out those little pieces? And so I think that might be the difference maker in this first competition is how cohesively does the group work together to accomplish the task as opposed to too many ideas slowing them down when they're not done in time. Judges, I have a question for you. Which ingredient do you think is going to be the hardest I would say the peach, uh, honestly, and I know the brie can be a little tricky, but with that peach you had mentioned earlier, you know, you got to have a good peach, you got to have the right peach, and I think the temptation, because you know, I don't know how often any of these chefs have cooked with peaches, uh, the temptation may just to be slice it and put it on the plate somewhere, and I think that'd be a real disservice to their to their culinary acumen. Definitely. I do think the brie is a bit of a challenge too because not everybody has had brie. Mm -hmm. No, so yeah, it's definitely a rare cheese. It, yeah, what to do with it, how to use it, do you cook it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not everybody has that exposure, so just knowing what to do with brie can be a challenge too. I can definitely agree with that. This group's done lettuce. Mm -hmm. So the two groups in the back have done meat, and looks like the two groups over here are doing bread with theirs. So are they going to go with sandwich route? Hmm. Indeed. Which approach do you think would be the best for these ingredients? Well, we, we talked about it a minute ago, kind of what we would do with it. Uh, Ms. Wicked mentioned a salad, so it looks like maybe this group is going to go that route. Uh, I, I was hoping maybe someone would bake the brie and, you know, go kind of more of a decadent dish. Uh, but we're, I don't know, we have a lot of different approaches, it looks like, which is good for us. Mm -hmm. That means it's going to be different dishes. Um, it sounds like they're really winging, wi winging it with their dish. So. Okay. Um, we are in for a pretty good surprise. I just saw Rylan grab some caramel sauce or something like that. So it should be pretty interesting. This is going to be a good episode, I think. Hey, cooking is art sometimes. And sometimes improvisation is, you know, really makes something beautiful on the plate. Favorite recipes that way. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But it also could be very dangerous. Yep. <laughs> Especially in this situation. Yes. <laughs> Well, and I wonder that too. This is the benefit that these groups have had. They've been able to watch an entire season of Chop now from w uh, WWBN. Does that give them any inspiration to take some different risks? Do they try and replicate some of the success some of those teams had? Yeah. Or are they going to wing it like Kitchen One? I think for 
for me, I, I honestly don't even know what added ingredients they have other than bread, but this far group back here seems like they have a very organized plan put together and they seem very efficient with what they're doing. So I'm very curious to see what their final product is gonna be. And both far groups had meat added. Yeah. So I'm interested to see what they're going to do with the meat and the bread. Yep, so this far group um, actually did not tell me what they were going to do, so it's actually a surprise dish. I know they're incorporating some sort of dough and pepperoni, but that's about it from what I know about that. Well, I guess when in doubt, go maybe a pizza route. Uh, so that group is intriguing me what they're going to produce because, like you said, pepperoni, they got biscuit dough, not to mention the other basket ingredients. Uh, are they going to try and use the brie as, you know, that sort of cheese? Yeah. It would be interesting to see how they incorporate peach and walnut into uh -huh. a sort of pizza dish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would definitely be the most creative I've ever been with a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, and I think by adding meat, you have the risk of eliminating or reducing the flavors of the basket ingredients. Mm -hmm. And so that's a hard thing if you're adding too many things where you can't taste what you're supposed to be enjoying. Exactly. That adds a whole nother risk with some of those ingredients. So, do we get some info on Far Kitchen there with their door? Yes, it looks like they're going for a like sort of sweet glaze to go on top of whatever their main dish is going to be. Okay. So they're going to be putting peaches, as they are right now, they're putting peaches inside that and then hopefully preparing a sort of sweet-ish glaze to put on top of their dish. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. 17 minutes. Is the bread in the oven yet? Uh, like they're going in right now. Going into the oven. You guys are on the what same wavelength. Yeah. And then this one isn't cooked yet. Yep. I mean, unless they're going to surprise us with an air fryer to expedite things, I, I don't know that that I don't know those biscuits are going to be cooked. Yeah. I mean, it takes 15, 20 minutes, depending. I didn't see the oven on. No. What do you guys got going on right now? Caramel glaze here going on with a little bit of butter in there mixed with the walnuts and we also throw the peaches in there too. And that's going to be your main glaze and what will be your main dish? Our main dish is going to be some toast, toasted bread with a little bit of glaze. with a little bit of the glaze on it and then we throw some cheese inside. Awesome, thanks guys, looks good. Um, so I just figured out what this close group over here is going to be doing for their main dish. Um, they're going to be toasting bread and then putting a peach walnut glaze on top of it. Um, I don't know how they're going to incorporate the brie yet, but it should be an interesting combination. Okay. Uh, Maybe just drizzle the balsamic vinegar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it looks like a lot of groups are actually going for the glaze route for whatever reason. I think that's just maybe the easiest way to incorporate a peach into a dish with balsamic vinaigrette yeah. and stuff like that. But it looks like they wrap the peach and maybe the brie in the mm. croissants over there. Okay. All right, so 15 plus minutes and all right, we've got those in yep. the oven. Okay. They might just make it. Well, and it was smart to use more of a croissant bread instead of an actual biscuit because exactly. it's gonna be thinner and not take as long to cook. Yeah. Exactly. But then when you wrap it, that then adds more time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because then you got to think about the moisture of the ingredients exactly. you're putting in it and yeah. how that's going to slow down that bake time. But I just have to admit, as a side note, I'm always hey, really Bob. impressed. How is your guys' salad dish going so far? Oh, we're, we're doing great over here. Got a great little... It's all coming together. All right. What are, what are we cooking up in this pan here? Um, I'm doing my caramelized walnuts over here. Special, specialized. Better than Dickie's. Wow, better than Dickies. Okay, should be interesting. Thank you. Okay, so this group over here is actually going for quite a different approach. Um, Ava is going to be cooking some caramelized walnuts. Apparently, according to her, better than Dickies. So. Okay. <laughs> Old statement. Set your expectations high. Okay. Uh, have you found out what they're planning on doing with the jalapeno? Are they going to fold that into the brie? Are they going to, you know, where are they going to incorporate that? Um, I am not sure. Okay. I, I think it's in the early stages of development still, okay. so we'll see. Um, contestants, you have less than 15 minutes left. Well, and the jalapeno, if you don't do something to infuse the other flavors with it, 
it's just a standalone that's gonna overpower yes. Yes. what's there. So that ingredient can make or break that dish. Yeah. I think the peach is getting is that maybe chopped more maybe there's like a couple different things. Yeah. I don't huh. know. And maybe like I said, it looked like it, but yeah, it was hard, it's hard to see tell from, from the here. distance what they were putting in the croissant. And the other thing that is important to remember in this round is that it is an appetizer round. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, everybody thinks main dish, main dish, main dish, but the appetizer, you know, again, uh, gets you prepared for that main dish, but you yeah. also got to consider portion size. We yes. don't, you don't want a three course appetizer yeah. because, you know, otherwise that's the meal. Yeah, especially with presentation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, judges, it looks like this table over here is actually plating some of their dish already. Okay. Um, oh, wow. We do see that toast in the glaze. Um, the brie is still yet to be incorporated into the dish, and I'm not sure about the vinegar, but it's looking actually pretty good so far, okay. considering they're winging it. I guess it's going well for them. Whatever he's doing, he's doing it with the balsamic. Definitely. It appears as if something is burning. Yeah. yeah. And this is looking pretty good so far. Yeah. Um, how sure confident are you guys yeah. going into this uh, this round? Man, more confident than anybody else out here, bro. We're going to win this, dude. I believe on my team. I believe in us. We got trust in each other, and we're going to win, dude. I know we are. Awesome. How are you guys going to incorporate the brie into your dish? We're going to do a light sear on it and toast it, and it's going to be like a, like a delight after eating the this uh, toasted uh, peach and walnut bread. Awesome, thank you. Your bread just came out of the oven. Uh, what's the plan for the rest of the this year? We gotta get the cheese melted and then the glaze is coming along nice. So hopefully things go according to plan and the judges like it. Thank you. All right, 10 minutes left, contestants. I think also this group is just calm, cool, and collective. Yeah. They're on a mission. Yeah. yeah. Looks like they're pivoting because I, I believe their initial plan was to just let it maybe melt on the bread after it was cooked so that okay. the heat from the bread would maybe melt the cheese but um well it looks like they're cutting it down to smaller pieces which uh, could be a smart move because yeah, those are pretty melting. pretty big yeah. wedges yeah, exactly. on the bread there brie can yeah. be a resilient cheese and yeah, it's, uh, it's too yes. thick. it uh, doesn't take a lot to get the flavor with yeah brie. yeah that's true that's definitely true okay ava these caramelized walnuts are looking pretty amazing do you think it's coming along well i do think so i was a little bit nervous but How about the rest of your guys' total dish? <laughs> Great, we're gonna do a little bit of like sweet and spicy combo in our salad. Okay, interesting. That sounds delicious. Thank you. Yeah, uh, are you guys yeah, ready to reveal stuff. the uh, secret dish yet, or is it just gonna be a surprise once we get there? It's gonna be a surprise once we get there. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I I just have no idea what it could even be at this point because. Like well, I'm wondering, have they checked their croissants to make sure they're working, or their yep. cooks oh, yeah. in um, the oven? Because I haven't seen them check anything in the oven. No. Yeah, I don't see anybody on croissant duty over there. Or it, <laughs> or it could just well. be that they're just that confident. Yes. Nope, it went in at this point, it yeah. will be ready at this point. Yep. I, you know, Again, if Drake is quarterbacking that group over there, he seems like, again, he's got the confidence in the kitchen. We had already Absolutely. talked about his prep work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe that confidence is spreading to the rest of his team, where it's, no, we got this. Yep. It'll be ready when it's ready. Let's just hope they know their job. Yes. Mm -hmm. I would assume that they need to plan on at least eight minutes for, mm -hmm. the, for the bread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think they still have... We still got about five minutes. Yeah. 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 Um, it looks like you guys are uh, finalizing your dish so far. Yes, we are. We are just finally getting everything plated down, everything nice and like ready for everyone to, I guess, eat. Nice. Um, do you guys have the balsamic vinegar incorporated yet? Sure yes, do. we do. It's in the, gl the glaze with all the peaches and walnuts. It's incorporated along with butter and caramel. And it's gonna, it, And we've already taste tested it before, and it tastes amazing. And we hope the judges love it. Awesome. Thank you, guys. This looks great. This team over here, it appears they're almost finished. They're doing dishes right now with six minutes left. So um, we got one team finishing pretty far ahead of schedule. Okay. Is that a good or bad thing? It could be good or bad. It could be that, again, they were efficient in their challenge, but it could be bad because, you know, from experience with these sorts of competitions, if you finish early, there's a likelihood you forgot a step. Uh, hopefully they have all of the ingredients present uh, in their dish. So it 
Could be good or bad. Yeah. Do you think well, these uh, this team would might lack a level of complexity that the other teams are going to have with this extra time? Five minutes left. Mm -hmm. Um, contestants, how's it going over here? It's going good. It's going good. Where are all your ingredients at? Are they all in the oven? Yep. yep. All right. What are you, um, what are you guys trying to make here? Making like a bread, and we're doing a glaze on top of the bread with a little walnut crunch on top. And then what about the brie? The what? The cheese. Oh, yeah, it's on the bread. Awesome. Thank you. Um, this part group over here um, is, I think, going for more of a slider approach with their dish, which honestly might be the play because as it's an appetizer round, uh -huh. there's not many more classic appetizers than some sliders. sliders. Absolutely. Are they still tight-lipped over in the far kitchen, not telling you what they're making? Uh, yeah, it's okay. it's a well-kept secret. So I commend far. them for committing to that secrecy. Yes. Yeah. It just makes you wonder why are they hiding it? <laughs> what are they putting in this dish that we don't know about? <laughs> Good question. Oh, and it looks like this group right here is actually finalizing their dish. It's mm -hmm. almost completely plated with two minutes and 30 seconds left. This looks interesting. It seems like these back two rows are maybe coming down to the wire a bit. Yep. These front yep. two are cut finishing close. up. I do think it looks like they're having some issues with the walnuts. Uh -huh. One of the things that's really important whenever you caramelize walnuts is to get them room temperature or colder mm -hmm. because otherwise they're incredibly sticky mm -hmm. because they need that at a time. And I'm wondering if that's part of the issue that's happening right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're seeing... Um, the far team over there with the secret dish, uh, finally taking out their plates. Okay. This should be interesting. It's it's getting close here. A minute 48 left. Sold on the plates over there. Uh -huh. This group over here, it appears that their ingredients are very basket driven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, other than the, the bread, it looks like yeah. it's exclusively the basket it does. ingredients. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's coming down to the wire, judges. I wonder if they use that caramel sauce to caramelize. One minute the, the left! Walnuts. I don't know. But it looked like he was just putting walnuts on the top, too. Mm -hmm. so. As we come down to our final count, which which dish are you guys most excited for now that you're seeing them almost finalized? I think all of them, honestly. Yes. I mean, again, we have four very different takes and interpretations on these basket ingredients. Some that brought more to the uh, to the party, others that stuck strictly to the basket. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to taste all four of these dishes. Again, very very different I mean, from salads to croissant kind of things. It looks like those croissants are cooked. They, yeah. at least from here. Golden brown. Yeah. Yep. And I'm excited for that surprise dish, guys. Yes, I know. I'm watching to see what they're doing over there. It's ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands off. Good work, Good work chefs. Um, okay. That is Team One, Keaton, Mason, Kate. I taste the walnuts, but I don't taste the peach at all. Yeah, I don't, I'm not getting the peach. I'm getting the the, um, the vinegar definitely, or mm -hmm. the, the vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. But um, I I like the consistency of the brie. I think yep. that was done it melted well. nicely. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So there's walnuts on the top. We end up garnishing with the walnuts. Um, yeah, we garnish with the walnuts. The it was a we uh, strained out the peaches, so it uh, had a consistent texture for you guys, so it wasn't chunky. Uh, so we just wanted it to be really smooth, and I feel like it looked better with the presentation as well. Yeah, definitely commend you guys on your presentation. Uh, yeah. Definitely, again, like the textures that we're getting. And just, I'm not getting a lot of peach. Um, 
and you know maybe that's a good thing. I appreciate you guys were taking into consideration the consistency of, mm -hmm. of your vinaigrette there, mm -hmm. um, but I'm just I'm just not getting that peach. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to team two. Good work. Uh, that will be good Zach, Rylan, and Izai. Uh, so our dish is called a uh, pomme peach. In French, that like correlates to like peach on bread, but uh, it's uh, we glaze the peach and walnuts together and. Uh, the butter caramel and then the bals the glaze or balsamic and uh, and then we have the the brie which is lightly toasted with uh, salt and butter on it as well mm -hmm. and it uh, should all pair really nicely. I like the simplicity. I think that um, presentation wise it's very consistent again. Um, the balsamic is a little bit non like it's very subtle. The bread is a little bit overpowering. Um, I don't know if you buttered it or what was used on that, but overall, the transition between the tastes are all very good. Yes. So we gave you a light summer salad. It has caramelized walnuts on it, uh, balsamic and emulsified peach dressing. And yeah, and there's also a little bit of spice in there. It's Did you do sweet. anything with the brie? I, I can see the yeah. breeze in there, but did you do anything special with the brie? No. Just topped in there. Mm -hmm. And your walnuts did turn out very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I am searching for that spice, though. I mean, you promised a little I, spice. I knew you were going to say that, yeah. I'm just, just searching just for Just a it. tiny bit of jalapenos without the seeds, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And I think you would have had enough flavors here that would have muted that heat if you <laughs> would have included it. Um, but... Uh, but jalapeno is not a basket ingredient, so it mm -hmm. doesn't matter mm -hmm. if we can taste it or not. So. Yeah, I think we were scared of doing too much spice. So. Moving on to our final group, <laughs> we have Santi, Adrian, Drake, and Gavin. Okay, the highly anticipated secret yes, dish. Yes, secret dish. So they did put the peach mm -hmm. and the brie in and there. The Uh, we made a croissant with the cheese and the peaches inside of it, cooked inside of it. And then we have the balsamic vinegar on the outside, the little brown stuff. And then we also made a peach like sauce to complement it with walnuts on top of it. And yeah. All right, and chefs, do you envision like dip the croissant into the sauces and whatnot? Work well together. I recommend doing both. Perfect. Try it both ways. It's a little delay on the mm -hmm. peach, but mm -hmm. I'm I'm really digging the consistency of the croissant at yes. this point, and that's without the sauce. So now we'll see how it is with. I'd say with the sauce, it's very nice. I, I like the peach flavor to it. Nothing that's too overpowering. So I like the the airiness of it all. And the finely chopped pecans in your I'm going to call it a marmalade uh, mm -hmm. um, is very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And gentlemen, I gotta admit, we were kind of nervous because we saw pepperonis over there. We saw all sorts of things. I don't yes. know if you were just trying to pivot or trying to psych out the other uh, competitors, but that's, this is a. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. We were just okay, gonna, just throwing uh, them off. We're throwing mm -hmm. them off. We're but this is a them. this is a very well done dish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of struggle because being brand new, they all did a great job. Yeah. Yes. I do think presentation-wise, I think our first two. Oh, they, yeah, yeah, they were phenomenal. Groups. They were very consistent. Um, this one, I feel like the balsamic vinegar was just kind of thrown on there because we mm -hmm. don't know what to do with it. Yep. Same with the peach marmalade because they threw it on right at the last minute. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, running out of time. Yeah, the clock got the better yeah. for the presentation there. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Judges, were you surprised by any of the dishes that you um, tasted today? I was definitely surprised by the last dish, yeah. again, with that combination of the, of the peach and the brie. I think with all the components together, definitely felt that that cohesive dish. That was probably the most surprising. Also, because we had no idea what they were cooking the entire mm -hmm. round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did um, any dishes underperformed compared to like their presentation? Would you say? I think taste-wise, they were all great. Mm -hmm. They all had great taste. I like the light and airiness of some. I like the added flavors of some. I like the simplicity of others. Uh, where you can really taste the basket ingredients. I feel like overall, most of them, the basket ingredients were very strong. And I would say too, the, the presentation was fantastic from that first group, but the yes. only downside to that one was 
the peach was the missing. Peach was missing. Yeah. You know what I would actually like? I'd like a little bit of this peach marmalade on uh, yeah. dish mm -hmm. one. Yeah. yeah. I think that you know that flavor would just explode at that point and with that presentation. Yeah. Yeah, that was the, the most lacking was the peach on that first one. On this one, because the bread definitely got a little, a little soggy much. in mm -hmm. yeah. at times, so um, but the flavors all worked really well with the second mm -hmm. dish. Do you think it might have gotten soggy because of how early they started their plating? The Could absolutely. Have, I mean, yeah. absolutely. They had almost a third of their time left, and that stuff was already plated. So mm -hmm. yeah, they needed absolutely. to keep those ingredients separated until the last minute if they wanted to keep that crunch of that bread. Mm -hmm. you guys, ready? <laughs> oh, I think we are. Hey, uh, welcome back, guys. Great job on your cooking. Um, you all did very well. Um, unfortunately, one of you will not be coming back for our entree round. And that group is Aubrey, Ava, Michaela, and Zach. So, chefs, uh, you did a wonderful job today. In fact, all groups did. Uh, everybody was lacking one minor component from a flavor perspective. And, and really, it came down to, uh, in a competition this tight, the presentation. But then also, uh, the, we didn't feel that the brie was transformed quite enough. Uh, it seemed maybe as an afterthought thrown in the dish. But again, you shouldn't be hanging your heads at all. You guys did a wonderful job, incredible work. Uh, you should be proud of yourselves. But that is ultimately why we had to chop you today. And you guys you did awesome. <laughs> Congratulations to the remaining three groups. You have made it to the entree round and you will be able to uh, compete to win. Uh, thank you guys very much. That's going to do it for this episode.